Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode uh, Out Here Trucking. This is take three now. <laughs> so, man, if I mess up, I'm going to just keep going, man. You know, it is what it is. Like I said, man, I'm learning. I'm, I'm trying to get better and better with this YouTube and thing. You know, being a, a, a quote-unquote content creator, which is crazy. Like, I've never in a million years. Never in a blood clot in a million years I would have thought I would have been a content creator, but hey, it just goes to show, man. You never know where life gonna take you, man. Um, but yeah, man, appreciate you guys for joining my channel. This is out here trucking. Uh, I'm definitely out here. I'm leaving the eastern shore now, getting ready to cross back over the uh, Bay Bridge. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this video, oh, let me cut on the AC because this is a little warm up in this piece. Yeah, the reason why I'm doing this video is because. And I, I apologize, too, if y'all hear a whole bunch of crackling with my microphone. Um, so I'm probably going to invest in one that can clip to my chin and I can still hook it up. I'm using my earphones because I just want to make sure that the audio is clear. Because if I, if I take these earphones out and, you know, do my videos that way, it's going to probably sound like I'm standing in a tunnel. And, you know, that's just bad TV. So, um you know, thank you guys for your patience as I fine tune uh, my equipment. But yeah, I wanted to do a follow up video on a video that I did yesterday, which was how much money you can make as a uh, as a rookie uh, truck driver. Now I did touch a lot. I touched on a lot of things. I touched on you know um, local pay, which most guys are paid you know either by percentage of a load, depending on what they're doing, or most people are paid, you know, hourly. Um, and I also touched on over the road, as well as regional drivers who are commonly uh, or typically paid uh, mileage pay, meaning they get X amount of cents per mile, or they get paid um, um, a percentage of the load as well. Now, let's get straight to it. Because I want to answer the question that everybody who's uh, uh, in CDL school and doing their research and, and just can't wait to get out there and get into trucking and start, you know, get the wheels turning. Yes. Yes, you, as a company driver, yes, you can make uh, over $100,000 as a company driver. Now, let me be honest, man. You're going to work. For that hundred thousand dollars as a company driver, so somewhat some 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 avenues that you could take to kind of go ahead and start seeing that money um, off the rip. Number one that I know off the top is food service. Guys who work in the so food service guys are the guys who basically provide all of the foods to like your McDonald's, your Burger Kings, all your fast food restaurants, all your restaurants. All your grocery stores like uh, 7-Eleven or, you know, these guys in the back of their trailer have anywhere from 600 to over a thousand individual cases. You know, these boxes, these boxes are heavy. I don't know if, 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 if you ever worked at a fast food spot back in the day when you were like 16, that was your first job. And they say, hey, man, we need some more fries. And you went downstairs in the freezer and you carried up that big, heavy that heavy box of french fries like yo imagine 600 to uh, over a thousand of those cases you know in the back of your trailer you literally gotta touch physically touch each one of those and load them on a pallet jack and so like you know that's those guys man they work i i really really salute um i salute anybody that's in the food food uh service industry because those guys, they, 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 it takes a toll on their body. I mean, that's, that's a, one of the most physically demanding jobs that you can do in the trucking. You will be thoroughly compensated. And from what I know, I know like on average, your first year in food service, man, those guys average anywhere from, I would, I would ballpark it. They probably average anywhere from 72K to around 80K. That's just their first year, you know, and then it only goes up from there. So yes you can make over a hundred thousand dollars in the food service industry um you know those guys to do it as a, as a matter of fact i actually I, I kid you not before i took this uh job that where i'm at now 
I had an offer to work on this. Uh, so most people, I'm not sure. If you're on the East Coast, I don't know if it's the East Coast team, but there's a grocery store called Aldi's. It's either Aldi's or Aldi's. I don't, I don't know how it's pronounced, but I call it Aldi's. I actually, and, I, and, and, and just in case, I might, I might uh, make the offer letter my damn um, uh, thumbnail. Excuse me, I might make the offer letter my thumbnail. But I had a, I had the opportunity to make some bread there. Man, they was going to bring me on at, and this was like only a couple of months ago. They was going to bring me on at thirty-five dollars an hour overtime after 40 hours they didn't give a damn about how much overtime you work they just needed that those they needed those pallets of groceries delivered to that them, them stores not only was they going to uh pay me 35 dollars an hour and basically unlimited overtime or as much as overtime you can work within your um your your 70 hour clock but if i wanted to work an extra day so like if i wanted to work six days a week not only would all of the money that uh, I would have worked in that six time, because I would have well, I would have already been well into my overtime hours. But not only was going to do that, they were going to give me additional, uh, uh, an additional uh, two hundred dollars, an additional two hundred dollars just to work on that six day. And I was doing my my, my calculations, like yo, I, I could have easily grossed uh, anywhere between. 2900 to over 3k a week easily at that i mean now no cap like I, I easily could have grossed over uh 3k a week if i wanted to with that job which when you you know you crunch the numbers whatever that would have put you well over a hundred thousand dollars but only reason why i didn't take that job is because that job was basically like an hour and 10 minutes uh well one i was waiting on a call back for the job that i'm at now it was an hour and 10 minutes one way uh, from my house um and then and like i said I, I got a ram 1500 man shout out to everybody that drive a ram you know ram gang in the building you feel me uh i got a ram 1500 it's an older model but it still is a ram 1500 and uh yeah man that that this was that this was I, I live on the east coast this was when uh fuel prices was five dollars a gallon so i was like no nah, i'm already waiting on this call i, I mean it was trust me I tossed and turned at night thinking about, you know, the money that I was passing up because that could have definitely put me at, in, a, in a great position. But, I mean, still, I, I love where I'm at now. Um, I'm not leaving the world, anything like that. But, whew, yeah, I, I walked away for some bread. So, you know, that's something to think about, you know. Um, now, another industry that you can get into or another division that you can get into or you can make some good bread is um you can haul uh you can get you can get your uh your hazmat and your tanker uh endorsements and you can haul petroleum you know what i'm saying you can you know gasoline diesel fuel stuff like that um those guys i mean i know a company here on the east coast right now their drive is average anywhere between 70k and 90k you know um but they uh you know they work 12 hours a day that's like a 12 hour minimum so that's you know 12 hours of five days that's 60 hours a week and you know i mean if you want to run that hard that's cool um you know that's not something i want to do like I, i've already done the 60 65 hours i've done that for uh a couple of years now and now nah, I'm, I'm at a point in my career where yeah i want to you know i, I gotta uh a nice salary where I'm at and then I don't really work that many hours as well so and I'm comfortable with what I'm getting paid as well so you can think about you can you can you can think about that you know so you know food service there's money to be made in there there's money uh, to be made hauling uh, uh, but see that's the thing food service um, and as I said as I stated in the previous video a lot of companies have changed their policies to allow drivers to come straight on, you know, before. So, like, there's some examples of major um, major uh, companies out there that do food service or whatever. It's Cisco. Cisco's, like, one of the biggest. Then you got, you know, your U.S. Foods. Then you got Gordon. 
Then there's PFG, you know. Then I, I believe there's another one called uh, Cheney or something like that. Um, and then I'm pretty sure there's, uh, these are just ones that I know that's on the East Coast, but you can go on do a Google search and I'm pretty sure that you could, there's uh, many other different, um, many of the different companies that I've never heard of uh, in your uh, respective region. But the ones that I name, those are typically all, all across um, the United States. Um, so yeah, man, yo, a lot of those companies have changed their policies to allow drivers to come straight out of school and you know be able to get that that bread. But like again, you gonna work? It's it's it's, it's physically exhausting. You know what I'm saying? But if, if that's something that you want to do, I'm not really trying to deter nobody from doing it. I'm just letting you know up front. You know what I mean? Like it's it's 10, 12 hours a day, and you know you touching anywhere from six, seven hundred to a thousand sometimes 1100 cases a day you know and um, so if you want to work like that go ahead now as far as what most of you guys who just got out of the school are going to be doing the most most people who see this video who are either in school in trucking school or they literally just got their uh, CDLs and they already looking for what company they're going to go to most of you guys are going to either do over the road or regional now again i'm not exactly sure the average cents per mile that that companies are paying drivers nowadays but let's just go with like 40 cent a mile i mean of course you want to get as high as you can um if you can get 50 cent coming out of school that's excellent i don't really know too many companies that's paying drivers 50 cent off the rip but if you can get that that's that's excellent um but there are a lot of companies that would give you around the, around the 40 something cent range but for, for for example sake let's just use 40 cents right so if you want to make let's say let's say you do 1500 miles which really in trucking and over the road that 1500 miles ain't that ain't nothing but again if you're a regional driver so you might be running 15 to 1800 you know what i mean and you really like as a company driver you don't you don't have no control of where you go you basically are a driver in the truck and wherever your dispatch sends you that's where you're going and another thing before i touch back on the uh the cents per mile on the money another thing that you guys got to keep in mind that's coming out of school because <laughs> i know i've done this uh, myself when i was a uh, uh, in truck driving school and i'm you know trying to figure out where i'm going to go I'm already doing the math, so if I run this amount of miles at this sense, I'm going to get this much. If I do this amount of miles, I'm going to get this much. No, no, no. The miles that you're going to get paid are already predetermined by the company. That's, I mean, I would I would safely say that's 99% of the companies out there that they run like that. They've been, their, their company been established for decades now, you know. They already got things set, and most of these companies run to the exact same place over and over and over and over again. You know, so if they give you a route, don't think you're going to, uh, oh, I'm going to try to, uh, you know, I'm going to run this way because it's longer, and they're going to give me the miles that I run. No. Once they send you that load, and they're going to give you all your information, uh, typically they'll send it to you through your um, well, nowadays with uh, modern technology, a lot of, a lot of um, companies they're giving their um, drivers phones to use as their electronic logs or you know you might have you know a, a people net or Qualcomm or Omnitrack some type of ELD in your your um, in your tractor but when they send you that load information it's already going to have how many miles uh, that load is is, is uh, it's not going to have the pay but it's going to have the miles of how much it's going to take you from to get from point A to point B, so you're basically your miles are already determined when they send you the load, and that's what they go off of. Everything that they send you, as far as the load information and how many miles is already there. If you want to know how much you're going to get paid, as far as your gross, uh, even your even even your um your 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 empty miles, when you let's say after you um, drop off your first load and then they send you, uh, you know. 30 miles down the street or whatever like all of those miles total because most companies they'll pay you for being loaded and pay you for being empty as well 
but all your miles are already predetermined. You will just total how much cents per miles that you're getting paid, total all of the mileage up, you know, and then it'll let you know. So for instance, if you only ran 1,500 miles and you were getting paid 40 cent a mile, you're only grossing $600 that week, which, I mean, that's what most of you guys that's coming out of school gonna be getting paid. And then if you guys were paying attention to the video that I posted yesterday, I was, you know, that's why I was really, really trying to express to you guys, like, yo, first year trucking, man, don't really necessarily worry about the money, because there's a lot of things that you 